for this show, we've all been nostalgic, mm -hmm. um, hence the opening and, and the weather and, and the leather jacket and everything. <laughs> Let's, so, so we're stop, all, stop, I know. Stop. That's your we're, normal attire. Stop acting like that was a- yeah. True, 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 true. <laughs> um, let's talk about, since we're all here, uh, Gen X, um, let's talk for a minute, and we've, we've teased the show a lot about G Gen X and nostalgia. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a ton of, of noise, if you will, in the, in the community or, or, you know, in advertising, marketing that is influenced by it. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what you're seeing in the marketing landscape uh, as it a, as it a, sure. yeah, with Gen yeah, X? Yeah, let me, I know what I'll do is let me, I'll talk, let me talk about nostalgia and then we'll go right Perfect. into it. Perfect. So, you know, and, and, and uh, unfortunately, Mad Men got it wrong in one particular episode that I absolutely love, one of my favorites, where Don Draper's pitching um, some executives from Kodak. But nostalgia yeah. doesn't mean a hole in your heart. Nostalgia is, is a, you know, of Greek origin. And really what it means, the word means two things. It means homecoming and pain. And mm -hmm. years later, many years later, Latin scholars kind of, you know, took took their turn, gave it a go, and and kind of re renamed the 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 word into what means homesick. And mm -hmm. when I think of homesickness, I think of you know that first night of summer camp or um, saying goodbye. You know, when you're dropped off at college or at an airport, really not great campaign opportunities to really capitalize on. So then we came along collectively, us marketers. And, and, and we, we weren't getting on board with a brand being associated with homesickness. So we reinvented this definition to mean a longing for a period of time, place, or product. And I know, I know marketers added that one in. That creates a powerful, incredibly powerful emotional association. So nostalgia is a feeling. It's not a memory. And it may just be the strongest emotional connection possible that we all have. Mm. So why are we seeing, so your question, Paul, why are we seeing it so much over the past year in campaigns and really on, uh, you know, through, through many brands? Well, a couple of reasons. The, the most important is that loneliness brings on a deep, deep sense of nostalgia. And that's, that's, the, that's from science. So our brains use it, nostalgia as a coping mechanism, and it's really something we've all needed over the past year. So I think that's one of the things that that's one of the reasons why you're seeing so much nostalgia, because it, it is um, it's helping with that. Um, and then in practice, brands like Burger King, for example, just made some noise not too long ago. They're looking to transform their customers kind of through this emotional time machine back to, in some cases for Gen X, back you know, to our four year old birthday party. And for those that don't know, McDonald's and Burger King just had ragers in the early 70s for your birthday parties. There was just, there was no better place to have your party. And then, and then Grimace would show up or the Hamburglar and it was over. So um, I think what they're doing is really getting customers that may just visit, you know, these, you know, these particular restaurants, maybe once a year, maybe not even that often back into their flywheel. They want you to go through the drive through. They want you to follow them on social. They all, by the way, have brilliant social accounts and they all kind of want you to share that story. We're seeing the same thing with animation studios and, and the Warner brothers, for example, they're bringing back the started the Saturday morning cartoon franchises. And if you haven't seen them yet, you will, because a lot of them are in production, but a ton of, uh, again, a ton of shows from, um, from, from, you know, again, early, early Saturday morning cartoons that, that kids remember in the 70s and 80s are coming back for their kids to enjoy. Um, J. Crew, an unbelievable brand in terms of really leaning into the, the style of the 80s. And if you don't, again, follow them on Instagram, you would be blown away. This is so brilliant because what they're doing is they're reselling the clothes from 30 years ago. And I bought it. I bought, I bought a pullover jacket twice i bought it in 87 and i bought it last year the same jet same exact jacket i think the color was different same size so, too, right yeah okay oh it's totally same size yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i'd have to go up two sizes if i did that just saying <laughs> i think you're but you're this is what you're seeing in terms of an yeah. you're seeing entertainment brands are really diving in uh you've probably noticed more feel-good movies this year than at any other time 
it, it's part of the uh, of the human need. I mean, in, in quarantine, you know, do you want to watch Bring It On and 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 think about your high school friends or Shawshank Redemption? You know, and think about Andy Dufresne in prison. So yeah. it's all about the feel good movies, the experiences. Um, McDonald's had a tweet back in November. Let me say it here. They had a tweet back in November that um, was one of their, their highest engaged. And they tweeted, one day you ordered a Happy Meal for the last time and you didn't even know it. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah. you know, that's, you know, whose allergies are bothering them right now? You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> so, um, so again, I think, Paul, that, you know, to your point, that's where, why we're seeing so much nostalgia in marketing right now. We're seeing brands really lean into it because they know that, you know, there are two two ways that brands connect with people on a functional level, which is what they do. And that, you know, it makes sure that that brand, it works and it, 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 it fulfills the promise and on an emotional level, which, which these days is much more important uh, in terms of a reason to buy and a reason to, uh, to become a fan. Yeah.